Okay, we're making a horse. You're gonna leave about five and a half, six inches uninflated. Starts off exactly like the giraffe, where you make two bubbles, take the nozzle, hold it down, twist these two bubbles together, bring the nozzle up, over, down, and back around to the top again to let go. So you make the lips. You're gonna do a, about a two inch bubble for the head, followed by two bubbles that are probably three quarters inch a piece. Twist those together. These are gonna be for the horse's ears. I'm gonna follow that with a series of bubbles. You're gonna make six bubbles. I usually make them about three quarters inches a piece and you got to hold the beginning and the end and it won't come untwisted. Once you get six bubbles, you're going to fold these bubbles under the head, so you're making a ring under these two, and twist them together. Bring the rest of the balloon out behind the head, and then you're going to make a bubble that is the same size as these three together. So however big those are is how big you're going to make the neck of the horse. And just like the bird, you're going to roll this through, but you're going to have three of these on each side so that they form part of the mane. And pull these bubbles back so that everything's sitting nice and, nice and good. You're going to make the legs on the horse the same way you would do a dog, body, legs, and the tail, just like you would for a dog. Then I give this tail a little curl. And these, what you want to do with these ideally is braid them. So I'm going to bring this one over, this one under, and then push this one back. Ideally, switch them and then put this back in place. And roll this up so it locks it all in place. And then you got to straighten out your horse because it'll be crooked. That's better for the horse's mane. If this doesn't stay, what I do is I hold the top two and bring two over, two under, which will tighten up the mane a little bit better than it was.